This Veterans Day weekend, a closer look at an Iraq war vet who is running for Congress in New Hampshire's 1st District. Terrence O'Rourke says it was outgoing Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter who inspired him to get involved. You have to focus on the mission. Lessons learned as a combat veteran are always close at hand for Terrence O'Rourke, whose family service record dates back almost a century. I'm a fourth generation United States Army. My great grandfather who emigrated here from Ireland was also in the Army. O'Rourke served in Iraq in 2006 and 2007. He was watching the Armed Forces Network in a camp outside Baghdad when he first heard the name Carol Shea Porter. She is a huge supporter of veterans. She was, was, was in favor of, of, of basically ending the, the war in Iraq in a, in a peaceful way and in, in, a, in a way that, that got us home. And uh, I thought, I was like, wow, she was just a person who cared, who ran for Congress. Now O'Rourke wants to do the same thing. He's campaigning as an advocate for working families and rebuilding America's infrastructure. Our roads, our bridges, our airports, our seaports, we know that those are old, we know those are crumbling. Any, any of the engineers out there tell you, we're already in the red, we're, already, we're on a grade F right now. So we need an injection of, of I think President Trump is something like a trillion dollars. No, it's got to be a lot more than that. In addition to his military service, O'Rourke has been a prosecutor at the federal and county level and is currently the Rochester city attorney. The 39-year-old believes it's time for young Democrats to step up. I think coming back in 2018, you have a, a, a new generation, many of them veterans if you look around the country, who are saying, we believe in core democratic principles going back to, to FDR, but we're also, we, we're with you on ending these wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, and we're, in, we're with you on having sane drug policy in this country. When it comes to President Trump, O'Rourke says there are plenty of reasons for Americans to be upset with the White House, but he takes a pragmatic approach, saying he's willing to work with the president, especially on infrastructure funding.